This is a visual of that lumbar artery. And your spine is, is so highly vascularized. It needs blood supply. Every part of your body needs blood supply because that's where we get our oxygen and our nutrients. And that's what takes away all the toxins and the waste products and the carbon dioxide. So it's so important that your blood supply is not impaired. If you have cardiovascular disease, if you have coronary artery disease, you have impaired circulation. And it's not just the heart that's going to be impaired. Think about it. You have miles of blood vessels in your body. <clears throat> and if your blood supply is impaired in one area, it's going to be impaired in other areas. And this is the number one thing that doctors do not do when somebody complains of chronic low back pain. They don't check your lumbar arteries for circulation. And what if that's the reason you have low back pain? Let's look at this in a little more detail. So if you have impaired circulation to the posterior body wall, that can lead to paraspinal muscle ischemia. Ischemia just means lack of blood supply, okay? It doesn't mean it's completely cut off because the tissue would die, but it means that it's impaired. And so you could actually have pain related to exercise. So, you know, going up and down stairs or, or doing any kind of exercise, if you really have a lot of pain when that happens, now, yes, it can be because the movements are something your body is not mechanically able to, to do well. So there are other reasons that can happen. But if it's impaired blood supply, isn't it important to know that? And then right up front, I'm going to tell you, you can radically impact your blood supply by your diet. And I, and I'm, I can show you the, the, the before and after of serious artery ischemia and then improved artery by, simply by diet change. So, so don't listen to anyone if they tell you your diet doesn't matter because they are misinformed. Um, and then, of course, you can have failure to remove the waste products and an accumulation of lactic acid. So a lot of burning feeling when you do any kind of physical activity. This could be impaired circulation. Impaired circulation to the vertebral body and nerve root can lead to bone and nerve root ischemia. And if you have bone ischemia, you could have dull, constant pain. Um, there is an inactivity that occurs in the bone. And you can have edema or swelling. And then bone sclerosis, end plate sclerosis. This is where the bones are really unhealthy. And actual disc degeneration. Yes, disc degeneration can happen because of impaired lumbar artery supply. And most people are, t are told, oh, it's, it's because of gravity, right? It's this, you know, you are getting older, you know, right? So, of course, things are going to start to compress because you're upright. And so things just start to compress and you lose disc space, you lose disc height, and things start to degenerate. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is not accurate at all. That is complete misinformation. Disc degeneration <clears throat> is due to a lack of blood supply. And that's why those discs degenerate. They need blood supply. So know that improving blood supply could be your best strategy ever. And then if you have nerve root ischemia, if those nerve roots are not getting enough blood supply, you can actually have sciatic pain, radicular pain down the leg, down the arm, if it's, if it's happening in the neck. So wouldn't you want to know if impaired blood supply can be part of your problem? Because you're going to be getting injections and procedures and surgeries, God forbid. And if it's impaired blood supply, none of those things are going to help you, right? So it's important to be informed.